Yo, what's going on everybody? My name is Ian and welcome back to another graded card return video. Today I got a uh, pretty uh, nice submission back and this time around. I managed to get a hold of a uh, entire Pokemon Versus set. So uh, for those of you who don't know, that is the uh, set that was considered like Gym Heroes 3. Um, it was never released over here in the US. Um, it's a strict Japanese set only. And um, it actually features a lot of the Johto gym leaders and some of their Pokemon. Um, so some of these cards are actually pretty high dollar and it's, I'm really excited on the grades on a lot of this stuff. Um, so right now I have all the foils done except a uh, Rockets Tyranitar, which I purchased online. I'm waiting for it to get back. And um, so we'll go ahead and get right into it. I'm just gonna do it, um, do them in like number order. Um, so each one's a little bit, they're all pretty consistent on their grades. So uh, the first one we have up is Faulkner Skarmory. So um, this came in at a Gem Mint 9.5 and uh, three tens and a nine. So pretty dang good on that for sure. The centering was the nine that kept it away from getting a 10 overall. But um, for considering this card was raw when I bought it, the grades on these I'm ecstatic to see. So. There's a little bit closer up of a look for it. And um, I really love this set. This is one of the sets that I've been meaning or wanting to track down for a while now and got lucky to uh, get the whole thing in one go. So um, the next one is Bugsy Scizor. So got two tens on the corners and surface, nine five centering and nine on the edges. So a nine five overall. Um, I really like this card art in the background. That blue is just, it's gorgeous back there so it just pops really well um so there's the scissor so this one is morty's murkrow this is the one nine that i got on, out of this uh submission and i went ahead and just bought a psa 10 one to try and see if i can regrade it over to a nine five um i didn't want to mess around with trying to get raw ones i want to get my nine five or higher set done um, but it got two nine fives on the corners and the surface and then nines on the centering and edges. So, um, the centering makes kind of, or makes sense cause it is very left to right. And then I don't know if you can see it on here. It is kind of hard, but there is edge wear that I, I just didn't even see it when I was submitting. I was, must've been too excited. Um, not really paying attention to it. So hopefully once I get that card, it should be here in the next couple days. I'll get it submitted and see if I can get a nine five. Next up, we have Jasmine Steelix. It's got a 9.5 gem in as well. Got two 10s on the corners and surface, and two 9.5s on centering and edges. So, really like how this card looks. It's really neat. And I like how they have the, uh, the gym leader's faces at the bottom. It's pretty cool. Then we got Price's Sneasel, and this is one of the pristine 10s I managed to get from this set. So 10s on everything and 9.5 on the centering. Really strong grades on that card right there, man. Really excited that to have a 10 on these. And then we have Bruno Steelix, which also got a pristine 10. Uh, the 9.5 being on the corners, everything else is a 10. So I'm just trying to get the foil on here without getting too much of a glare for you guys. All right, and then one of the more high-end cards from this set, um, probably if not the highest, is Karen's Umbreon. This came in at a Gem Mint 9.5. Had two 10s on the corners and surface, and 9.5s on the centering and edges. Um, can't really ask for more on that. I'm very ecstatic for this grade. Um, I know these are pretty expensive right now, so I'm, I'm really happy to have my own copy uh, with such a nice grade on it. This is probably one of the most nice looking Umbreon cards ever printed too. And then we have Karen's Tyranitar, which came in at uh, three nine fives and a 10. Really strong grades there too. Uh, the 10 on the surface, everything else is a nine five. Uh, kind of hard to get the foil to go on this one for you guys. Uh, no, I'm not gonna wanna go. But nonetheless, really strong grades on that. Uh, next up, we have Rockets Wobbuffet. <laughs> I really like this card. It's pretty funny. Um, got a Gem Mint 9.5, 9 on centering, 9.5 on edges and surface, and a 10 on the surface, or sorry, corners. 
So great grades there as well. And then we have Rockets Ryko. Uh, I'm really excited about the uh, legendary dogs from this. This is one of my more favorite arts. Their foil looks really good on them. Um, just all around really nice looking cards. And I like the, the background art as well. It's cool. So got 9.5 on centering and edges, 9 on corners, 10 on the surface. Rockets Entei. Got a uh, Gemmin 9.5, 10s on the corners and surface, 9.5 on the edges, 9 on the centering. And then Rocket Suicune getting the highest grades out of the three with uh, two 10s on the corners and surface and two 9.5s on centering and edges. All right. And then uh, the next foils, are, I'm, I'm going to go kind of quick. Um, it's just the Darkness Energy. Got a Pristine 10 with the 9.5 being on the centering. The Metal Energy, uh, getting a 9.5 with two 10s and two 9.5s. And then uh, the Rainbow Energy, which <laughs> looks really nice. I like this card. Uh, getting three 10s and a 9.5, so an overall 10 on that. Um, so lastly, it did come with a sealed um, starter or half deck with the Rockets Tyranitar. Um, and I opened it, but as you can see, this corner is really damaged, and I believe there is some corner damage up here as well, if I can get it to focus. You can kind of see it right there, yeah. So I uh, bought another one. Hopefully it's 9.5 uh, quality, so that way I can get that one graded as well. Um, and then I do have, like, the entire set as well to go through. I don't know if I'm going to do, like, all the commons, but... Uh, I have the Rocket Sneasel as well. I'll probably get that graded. And, um, but some of the higher end commons um, that actually are worth something when they're graded, I'll probably work on. So like the, uh, what is this guy's name? Uh, I just named or went through this. Uh, uh, sorry, I can't remember, but Espeon. <laughs> and then, so that one I'll probably get into grade. I really like the Karen, Karen's cards, like her Flareon, Houndoom. And of course, Lance's Charizard is expensive and pretty nice. I think this has a good shot at getting a 9.5. Um, his Dragonite's pretty cool. Got more trainers there. And then just kind of showing you guys, if you've never seen the Versus set before, just kind of what these cards are. They're really cool. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Some of the other highlights that are in here. I really like the Ninetales. Um, There's some really nice arts I'm trying to get to. So yeah, we got Karen's Blastoise. Didn't know she had one, but that's pretty cool. Um, Karen's Dragonite, that's a really nice looking art as well that I think I'll grade. Um, pick up two Politoads because both of them were like the same grade quality. So I just wanted to make sure I got a good one. And then I got Sabrina's Espeon. So. Stuff like that, all looking uh, to possibly get graded here in the near future. And then once I get the Tyranitar and Morty's Murkrow, hopefully both of those can pull the 9.5s or higher. Um, and I'll be able to show you guys those when I get them back as well. Along with, uh, I think when I submit those, I'll submit some of the commons as well. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you uh, like what you saw, Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, be on the lookout for more box break videos, pack openings, graded card returns, graded card submissions, you name it. Take care, guys.